people this is Sharpino here welcome you guys to episode number 13 of the Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke we're back here in the Ishtar City gym where we left things off in the last episode um, today we're going to continue on through the rest of the gym and hopefully be able to take on Lady uh, Nufar today so let's continue shall we so we okay Okay, lucky guess then. Alrighty then. You've been able to reach here. This means you've completed the first challenge. I'm impressed. Now let's move to the second game, the Unknown Checkers. The rules are simple. You have to move on the squares following the unknown writing from A to Z. However, the path is fraught with pitfalls and some teleports might mislead you, making you retrace your own steps. Your hunch and your luck are the keys for this game. A, B. Is this seriously going to be like this? Where you can make one mistake and you start all over again? The unknown writing will amplify my power! Okay, here is an artillery taking on cash money! Lock on. Actually, I probably should have gone for Yawn. And I think I'll do that. You're gonna lock on with me with an Aurora Beam? Oh, really, dude? You're not making this fun, Artillery! I was gonna say, is this Skill Link Artillery? Man, I missed my slam, so it doesn't even really matter. Nothing really matters! If you love Queen too, then comment down below and say how much you love Queen. Okay, let's mega drain this sleeping this sleeping octopus. A uh, bye bye. And cash money is now level 37. Between these letters are nothing but an apostrophe. Is that what you just said when you lost the battle? E F Oh, okay. Do you want some advice? Never challenge an advisor. Well, I don't have much of a choice here, buddy. I'm just trying to beat the game here. Advisor Jafar? Where's your Gilbert Godfrey voice, you know? Or Iago, you know? The man's all crazy! Alright, let's go for a yawn. Let's see how cash money handles our float Now we'll go for a trick room. Although if it keeps going for Aqua Jet, I guess it makes it pretty pointless. But now the Floatzel is fast asleep. And it's still sleeping and can't be moved. And it just tried to go for Aqua Jet. Finishes off with a Storm Throw! Apparently, apparently Coin Coin is meant to be like a big piggy, like it's supposed to be like a piggy bank Pokemon. My mask hiding is bitter tip. Tears are failure. I think with this next coming gym, I think Orient and Willow will be key because they're both... Well, Willow's a grass type, so that's a given. But when it comes to Grudaka over here, it has that Razor Leaf. And because we have that insanely high uh, physical attack, I feel like it's going to come pretty damn handy, if you ask me. Okay, so apparently that's a loop. I will pounce. We've got J, K, L, and we're back to I again. J, K, L, and M, and N, and M, and N. None of the rapper. M and M. <laughs> M and N and M and M. <laughs> Okay, we have ourselves a Sharpedo! Here comes our ghostly, goldy willow. Ice Fang? Ooh, 
that tickles. But that tickled more. Ha <laughs> ha! Give me that energy. Well, my spirit bomb. That is my spirit tube. I've never been particularly good at crosswords. Then why were you talking about it before the battle? Like it had any sort of relevance. Okay, that's a Q loop. We're back to O. So at least it's not making you go all the way back to the start. I was going to say, if it was going to be like that, we might have had to make some cuts because that would have taken forever. T U T U V W X Whoa! I'm the only one thing that stands between you and the end of this game. That was actually pretty lucky. I'm gonna admit that was pretty lucky. It's a B barrel. <coughs> Let's go for a mega drop. You're gonna make me get sleepy. But battle, you won't even last long enough to make this a real challenge, okay? You can move your checker now. Why do you say it again? 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 I make a joke. W X Y and C. And we've made it to the here. Okay. You've skillfully overcome the second challenge too. Now, there is just the third and final game of this gym, the Palm Tree Game. As you can see, this area of the pyramid is green and lush due to the miraculous water flowing here. This water, with its rich nutrients, also attracts a type of executor from far away. That would be the Alolan Executor. They are the real stars of this game. Some of them hide the access to a few rooms, inside which you have to get three water pearls. Only when you have all three of them, you'll finally be able to reach the Queen. I can only wish you well, Sharpino. Well, you'll see me in the skies of Abbas, Queen's advisor, but you'll actually know me by another name. Joel. I still owe you for helping the city. That's why I'll repay my debt with a Pokemon battle right now. Oh, he was the guy that helped us when we first got to Ishtar City. Ew. We have ourselves a Crawdah. Nice like oh no. Ooh. But we ate it up and we get all the health back. <laughs> okay, not all of it, but close enough. You know what I mean. And we're now level 38. Honor to return the favor. Show this valor against the queen and you will have nothing to worry about. Okay. Let's get our Grudako at front. Okay, we found the first one. Open Sesame! Oh wow, it actually worked. <laughs> okay, we got the pearl from that one. That was easy. No, I did not want to go there, thank you. Now we're gonna find two more executors that let us out. Well, at least let me get the pearl. Okay, so. I'm gonna guess they put them in different ones, so I'm gonna have a look in this one. No shot! Wow! Okay, cool! Alright. So we did the middle, it was there. We did the left, it was there. Is it in the right now? I'm a psychic, people! <laughs> Look at us go! Vanish. Vanish. I've been waiting for you. Okay, now let's think about this. Let's 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 really let's think about this. Honestly, I think Willow would be the best Pokemon to kick things off with because again, it has Link Seed, it has hypnosis, it has a quick claw. 
So maybe we could use that to advantage, or we could let cash money start things off and we can let it use Trick Room and get that started. And maybe that could be a good segue for Willow because then it'll be faster than everything else. Actually, that sounds like a really good idea. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. But if we're going to do that, we're going to have to change the item on Willow. And I think the Miracle Seed, to make its grass type attacks more stronger, I think that's going to be the way to go. So first off, we'll go ahead and heal up um, Mr. 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 Cash Money. And then we'll go ahead and put Cash Money out front. Because this, this is one of the reasons why I like Cash Money. Because it makes all my slow Pokemon all the more stronger. So let's give it a try and let's see if this plan succeeds. My gym was designed to put a strain even on the brightest minds, but I see you went off without a hitch. Well, actually, I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Sharpino, but let's cut the pleasantries. I hereby welcome you to the grand finale of the Palm Tree game. Formerly, this game was known as Lollipop and Lucario, a name that I much prefer, to be honest. What's the reason? Well, in the end, a defenseless Lollipop will be wolfed down by a predator. You can guess who's going to play as Lucario. Get ready to battle with all your strength. Did this bee call me a... <sighs> okay, your cheek cubes roast back. Nice job. Okay. Kick things off with the Beery Geary level 35. Okay. Let's go for a yawn. Skull's gonna come through. No burn, thank goodness. Okay, let's go for Trick Room now. Rain. Ooh. Okay, so now the Beery Geary's gonna be asleep as we go ahead and bring in our newest recruit. Well, not the newest recruit, but in our, our weapon of choice for this gym right here. All right, let's go ahead and go for a Mega Drain. Miracle Seed boosted, let's go! Down goes that Birigiri, awesome. Next up, Ponchin. Hey, you're not a water type, what are you doing here? I caught cheating! We are Speed Hypnosis and we landed, let's go! Okay. Uh, let's go for Ominous Wind. Wow, that doesn't do much damage at all. Okay, so... Alright, uh... Ooh. Let's go for a Leak Seed. Oh, god damn it, really? <gasps> ooh! Okay, that hurt, ow! Okay, that hurt quite a bit, and I don't like that. Uh, 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 Cash money, we're gonna need you back, baby. Oh god, that, that really did hurt. Ow. Crunch. Wow, look at us, we swallowed that. And you know what? This is exactly why Cash Money, I made it the physical wall for Pokemon like this. Hyper Potion? Totally fine. That is totally fine with me. Give me a free turn to go ahead and set up my trick room. I have no qualms with that. Here comes the trick room. The dimensions have been set up. You give me more of your health. And night, night, Honshin. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and swap into Poseidon. Because now it's going to be guaranteed one turn of sleep. So now it stays fast asleep. Get us a little bit of extra health. And now we're going to go for Tidal Dragoon! Let's go! What? I was about to say, come on! And we get the last one as a crit, let's go! We took out the Honchun! Yeah! Alright, awesome! Okay, the strategy works! The strategy works! You cannot deny the strategy works! Okay, now we've got ourselves a Melodic. Now, most likely, this Malak is going to be physically, uh, especially defensive bulky. But, let's assess to see what this Malak exactly wants to do right here. Because at the moment, water, ice. I'm going to go for an Aqua Ring. We are speed because the Trick Room is still in effect. Scald. Not very much damage, but we've recovered that damage right back. So you know what? If this Melodic can't do anything else, 
I think we might be in a good spot right here. Wow. Our, oh, we're gonna crit. <laughs> Ice Beam. And you have leftovers. Oh, that's so bad. And now it's back to going first. Wow, we did nothing to that. That's insane, dude. Um, okay, Ice Beam again. So it's a good thing we don't have um, our, our Spirit Tomb out because that could do a real number on us. But I did have an idea. I do have an idea, because that leftover is going to become real annoying real quick. Of course it goes for Scald now, that I bring in my Pokemon right now. Alright, let's go for a Yawn. Scald again. Oh, that's really annoying. That bird. Oh. Okay, so, now that we've got that, we're going to go ahead, oh, but if he goes for Ice Beam, I'm screwed. Actually, you know what? If he doesn't go for Scald, but that's the problem. That's, because it has Ice Beam and it has Scald. If I bring in Willow and it goes for Ice Beam, I die. Most likely, I die. But if I bring in Bakudan and it goes for Scald, then I die. But I have to bring one of these two in. The question is, which one do I go into? Okay, I'm going to throw the dice and think it's going to go for a Skull, because it's the strongest move. Why would it go for anything else? Skull! Oh, I made the call! I made the call! Oh, thank the gods, I made the call. Okay. Oh, look at that damage, though. Ooh, come to daddy! Alright, Melodic, you're about to get the life sucked out of you, because let's go, Mega Drain! Oh, and it has just a fraction left. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Mega Drain, and it gets a third turn of sleep. Yo! Kablam! Alright, let's go. Awesome. Koffer Grika, that's not the normal one. Whoa, look at that thing. Yo, that looks dope as hell. That's Xenocophagus. It's clearly water, but is it water ghost or is it water something else? Uh, hmm. Let's go for Mega Drain. Ancient Power. It has a Rhino Berry? Wait, did I just create for a Rhino Berry? Oh my god. Shell Smash? Wrong turn to use it. But then again, it would have died. Whoa, that is a cool as hell Cofagugus. And Will is level 39. Yo. Woo! Hot fire! What a what a battle! Oh my goodness! Oh, feel that competitiveness! Ugh. Your power rushed me like a torrent. Alright. What a great battle. Now who's the defenseless Lily Pup? Huh? Call me Lucario, because I'm that guy. That was awfully good. You will go really far, Shopina. I'm sure about it. With my badge, you already got four of them, so you're not the average trainer anymore. The title badge. Page with the camera. Hey. That's the title badge, the emblem of my gym as well as your victory today. And I have a small gift for you too. Team 55, is that Skull or Brine? It's Gold! Yo! A water type move that can also leave an enemy with a burn. It's a powerful attack, but it may turn into a double-edged sword if used on a frozen Pokemon. 
Well, you got what it takes to venture into the arid Sunflare Canyon. Head east, but please be careful. Now you have your new power in your hands, the enemies on your path will be more and more terrible. I wish you safe travels. Just know that I'll be ready to lend a helping hand whenever you need. I can teach Skull to my starter now. Oh my! <laughs> Let's get rid of that muddy water and teach our Poseidon Skull. Bro, with the ability to burn now and our special defense is sky high, Poseidon is going to be baller. And I didn't even use my Gudako, not even once. I didn't even need to bring it in. My spirit tomb handled that gym with the greatest of ease. Seriously, I love my spirit tomb. It's so good. It, it's so good. It was such a blessed encounter. You know, it was my first randomly encountered Xeno's Pokemon. And thanks to breaking my own... Or, sorry, let me rephrase that. Thanks to me adjusting the standard rules of a Nuzlocke, to allow Xeno's Pokemon to be added as Let's Play, this turned out pretty damn well. All right, so now, I believe our next course of action is to head over to the right here, because this was blocked off before. So here is the Sunflare Canyon. Okay, a gale wind is blowing. Okay, so this is a new chance for us to get an encounter. So Willow, you can sit in the back. You've done a lot of good work today. Good job, big buddy. Okay, so now we have ourselves... I've just left the nest, but I've got a sharp beak, believe me. Um, where's the sharp beak, Indian boy, Pico? You have a rufflet, okay. Let's go for a slam. Aerialist. And we get a critical hit unnecessarily to kill the rufflet, but that works, that works. Natu! A cute, a cute little Natu! You want to confuse me? Oh please, oh please. I slam you into the ground for your troubles. Why would you confuse me again? <clears throat> but unfortunately, I'm back under confusion. Cash money! Out of this hell hole. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's head over here. Let's see what we can find over here. We're gonna find a lot of raw grass. Is there a secret item? Nope. What's over here? No outsider will pass without the Cardinal's approval. A choice scarf. Yo! Okay! North, Equinox Village. I guess we can't go... Oh! Our encounter! What is it? Ooh! A Vroom Bug! Okay! Hey there, little buddy! Look at it! It's skidding out! Yo! Okay. So we're about to put it to sleep. Go ahead and throw a Pokeball at this boom bug. Really, dude? Really? Okay, now you go to sleep. Let's try this again, okay? You roll three times and you want to get in the ball. Now you're asleep? Yeah, you do. Okay, let's check out our boom bug. Roombug, the dumb buggy Pokemon. It has an excellent balance and drives around running on a tire. Once that is overworn, it looks for another new one. Okay, so it's bug and sound. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to call you. No, you know what? I have spelled the perfect name because you're a chick. I'm going to call you Letty from Fast and Furious because... I got family. 
All right, we can go ahead and check out Letty later. So, we got our encounter, and I'm pretty happy with it. It's a brand new Pokemon. Let's see what else we could have encountered. Oh, we could have encountered the Ponyta. <coughs> Interesting. We can't run from a Ponyta. Dude, really? Come on. I know it's fast, but come on. Can we stop this, please? Can we stop this, please? Thank you. God damn, dude. Get those star ciders out and start cracking them out all over the peoples. There we go. Now I just have to swap the, the Pokemon around. Now I've got an encounter. Let's put uh, Orient out front. There we go. Okay. Oh, what's this? Is that Zeno's Ponyta? Look at it! It's white! <clears throat> damn, my voice is going. It's a white little pony! Look at it! This weird Ponyta looks very frightened. Do you want to rescue it? Hell yeah! Let me help you, little buddy. Uh... Ooh! Mama Rapidash! Ra oh no! Oh, I forgot about this. It's a it's a Xenos battle. Bring it on! The boss Pokemon Rapidash wants to battle. Okay, so if I recall, first off, you can't catch this Pokemon, and second off, uh, it's a pure flying type. Okay, so now that we know that, let's go for a paper cut. Hurricane and misses. Whoa. That did a lot of damage, even resisted. Shit. Poseidon, we're going to need you. That's insane. Wow. Chill out. Chill out, dude. What the hell? It goes for... It has Roost? Oh my goodness, man. And I can't burn it my life depended on it. Okay, so 108. So that did about 42 damage. No. 48. It did 48 damage. So we could survive at least another one. As it goes for Roost again. Oh my god, dude. Stop! Okay, we get some residual burn damage. About time. Okay, let's go for Scold again. This is Hurricane because it's highly evasive. Scold. Cotton Guard. Okay, so it's boosting its physical defense. That's fine with me. I don't care. Now we've got down one of its health bars. Okay, cool. Air Slash. Okay, we cannot live another one. All right, um, let's bring in Bakudan because now it's going for air slashes. Maybe we should have started off with Bakudan because it still has hurricanes. Oh. <coughs> Come on, let's not do this. Let's not do this. Please, let's not do this. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's just kill it. We can't kill it anyways, guys. We can't kill it. Alright, so it heals. Snaps out of confusion. Thank you. Thunderbolt. Oh! Air Slash. I think it's run out of Hurricane. And it gets another flinch. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I can't risk it. I can't risk it, guys. Oh god. Roost. Alright, I'm gonna go for Trick Room. There we go. Now we are speed. So, let's go for slams. That, oh yeah, it's got cotton guards up. Oh. Air 
Air Slash is super effective on these two, so I can't bring them in, but... <sighs> Do I really have to bank on a crit right now? It's at maximum defense. It's used to all its hurricanes and all it has is air slash. I just wish I remembered how much damage those air slashes did. If it goes for Cotton Guard, I'll be fine. If it, even if it goes for Roost, I think we'll be fine. Roost. Trick Room is up. We now our speed. Let's go for Thunderbolt. Okay. Cotton Guard. Perfect! Don't run out! No! No! We survive! We did it! Oh my god! Ooh! Oh! My heart can't handle this! Oh my god, dude! Man! Ooh! My goodness, man, what the hell? What the shit? Ah. Oh. Ra. Ra. Pony. Ra. They vanished through the canyon. Well, that's one way to end the episode. You like picking on runty little babies now. Ha ha ha. Oh, don't you, don't, don't you dare. What's that face, noob? You look like you're seeing a ghost. Relax, I'm not interested in challenging you. Not yet, at least. You rather must have some talent to meddle in Team Dimension's business every single time. <laughs> that Rapidash you challenged earlier must be that Ponyta's mother. I'm assuming it attacked you just because it thought you were hurting its baby. Coincidence or not, those idiots playing bad guys are right here in this canyon too, looking for that same X Pokemon. How can I be aware of their plans, you say? Let's say that my story and team dimensions are inextricably entwined with one another, although I'd rather have nothing to do with it. In a way, you can say I am a part of it. Grr. I already told you, I'm not here to challenge you. Oh, thank God. The bond I hold with those damn junk heaps. It forced me to come here against my will. If you want to keep getting in their way, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Especially since, if they can't handle even a maggot like you, I wonder how they think they're going to get by into the Xenoverse with such a straight face. <laughs> Whatevs. Something tells me I'm going to see your ugly snout around for a while longer. At least try not to check it out with those clowns. <laughs> Let's go, Sabolt. Okay, now that my loins have unclenched because I thought we would have to engage in a battle with our team almost completely wiped out by that Rapidash, I think it's time we call an episode. I definitely think so. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you like the button down below because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke as we do go ahead and venture into the Sunflare Canyons. See if we're going to see that, um, that Xenos uh, Rapidash again. And, uh, yeah, see what crazy shenanigans are looking forward to coming our way. So, until next time I see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I will catch you guys all next time. Later.